it. I like it. Now, I have come to discover at Kakanisani, when a brother or a sister at a good door to Tarantayake, they run very fast. Very, very fast. You know, I met somebody uh, to me in the UK on a trip to Kubiri. And another friend of mine had made a business tour. Na siku moja tukiwa central London, I think somewhere eastern London, kukawa na arusi kubwa sana ya rafiki yetu was a Ghananian. Akambio bishop, mimi nilikuwa hoka. Tulikuwa tunakaa nyumba ambaye muke wangu angaweka miguu, tunayekerea ugali kwa miguu yake diomeza. Bishop nikekosa mia moja ya kupereka mtoto hospitali. Lakasema lakini one day nikaza bio. Hallelujah. Na bio yake alianza niambia. Aliona mzee moja akana, akona wholesale. Hameandika hii duka nataka kuyuza. Nataka kuyuza hii duka na vitu yake. Akaenda na hana kitu. Akamambia nipe hii duka sasa. And I promise you within two weeks nitakuadikia check. Akamambia ni amini Alipo inge duka Aliuza na hile bio kari Within two weeks Hata kama haku wamefungua current account Alikuwa wamefungua na amepoa checkbook Na akadika check Akasema bishop I discovered Kuna maisha about ukia Shika hivi utaeda bio sana Hata katika maaba kuhubiri wapendwa Ima munaona huduma Uneza hubiri miaka mingi Lakini the moment utahubiri na gift, kuna kuhubiri, kuna kuhubiri uh, vire we unasikia. Kawaida, pastor, leveled, bishop, hii mamba ya title, mamba ya kiofisi, like no nimekuwa huduma kule. But let me tell you the truth. Kasa nimekuwa tulanzo hiya. Lakini, although nireda kama overseer wa kanisa, Kire kirifaidi watu wa tuanzoia na North Rift sana na watu wa shingishu is not the title, it's not the status, it's the gift. It's a gift. Hallelujah. I discovered nipo kwa ni kodeni wachugaji kuna mahali mungu wa rifika. Akaza kunionyesha huduma zao na karama zao na nyumba zao. And I tell you ordination ikabadilika ikaza kuwa mkutano wa unabi. The gift diyo ni wafaidi. Mupango ni muzuri. Lakini gift ikianza kazi wapendwa. Mutu usikia kwa nabiyo. Ifali niambia watu baada donation. Nasikia tu natamani crusade. Nasikia kuna nguvu na niyagu meinuka. Ni kama stai kurudi. I want to prophesy again. I want to reach out. Because gift ikianza hukueka kwa biyo fulani. Na leo nikataka kwa naema ya kristo. Utok, uweke chini mzigo mzito. Kwa maana kuna biyo ya gift. Like now kama una gift ya healing the more unaponya watu badala ya kuchoka the more unasikia kuponya zaidi kama uko na gift ya prophecy kama uko na gift yoyote hata miracle the moment gift inaanza kazi hakuna mtu anachoka I don't crusade I remember one time to go crusade and I remember the gift of healing ikaanza kazi Healing and not of knowledge. Na kuna u, tulianza na kuponya muschana bubu. Mwingine, muzea likuwa kipofu. Do you know, wakati na iyo iliaza saa moja usiku, saa moja jioni. Saa hile crusade atakao kuisha, diyo mira kuzi liyaza. Jameni, let me to the truth. Iyo mkutano, tuliombea watu karimu paka saa hile usiku. Pastor nani niliombea watu, nikaza kufaint. Ikabi ni fichwa pahali. Mae ni fichwa. Watu wakanitafuta. Wakajada ni nyumba. Tukaudi kwa uwaja. Watu wanapaka ni mpaka wa parabara. Usiku huo. Kuriokoka watu wa zaidi ya miatatu. Mighty, mighty healing. Kanisa abotu rifugua the following day. Ilijaha paka compound. Nobody wanted to go home. Nobody. Another time to require a crusade, kuba sana Tala, Tara Town, and the gift of healing ikanza kufanya kazi. Jameni mungu wa Tara, sambili 
siku duka zilifungwa watu walisahau na nyumbani uwaja ukajaa nilikuwa na church van Mungu akaponya akaponya nikajaribu kujizuia Mungu anaponya nikaenda kwa church van nikajifungia watu wakaizunguka wamezio Nairobi nikatoka nje wakaponywa zaidi nikasema Mungu wangu this is powerful when the gift and talent zinaanza kazi your family you celebrate hata utasikia vile huwa unachoka sana kuchoka mikono kuchoka akili huchoki sasa huchoki huchoki na leo nataka tuweke chini kila mzigo for god want you to want to give you refreshment bwana anataka kupatia furaha ya taranta furaha ya gift amen now hebu tuone mambo kadhaa areas ambazo mtu anahitaji na hii ni areas maana inaniambia anahitaji kabisa katika na hizi area if you work on them things you change in your life number one, areas of attack in life Kit, muzigo moja about watakiwa kushughulikiwa na watu hawajui ni sehemu zimeubika katika maisha ya mtu ambazo unapata mashabulizi inaoendelea kila wakati areas of attack areas of attack amen praise god siji kama mnaelewa ulimwengu wa kiroho ulimwengu wa kiroho na ulimwengu physical ya hii tunaona hivi nani do you know unaweza kuwa umeketi hapo na kuta ulimwengu wa kiroho bwana george wewe ndio president wa kenya do you know unaweza sema nairobi ndio capital city ya kenya na katika ulimwengu wa roho labda labda sama ya meru ndio capital city Hello praise God. I've come to discover friends ulimwengu wa kiroho ifanani. Sometimes unakuta umeenda crusade Mombasa, umeenda crusade Lamu, umeenda crusade Machakos, umeenda crusade Muranga, Meru, unapata mchawi abaye anakiri kwamba ndiye anatawara barabara za Kenya. Unapata a satanist anakiri kwamba ndiye anatawara mji wa Nairobi. Na umempata isiyo Are you understanding? Hello, praise God. Hallelujah. It's funny. You know, I remember tukiwa kwa kesha, tukiwa pa kwa kesha. You know, ni, ni, tukiomba badala ya kuona kanisa, niliona kitu. Nikaona nasali hizi za watoto eh, Kenyatta eh. Mahali watoto wanawekwa wakiwa changa. Nikaona ya Kenyatta, aga kani, pumwani nyingi nyingi, zikineza wazugu. Bwana kadiambia oba ilikuwa saa tisa kwa kesha wakabia omba saa hii katika ibada kubwa za mashetani wamepanga kuwa watoto walio kwa nasari you can't think wewe fikiria kwa basat na ilikuwa wa wawe kama wewe wow and i interceded i interceded bwana kaniambia hiyo imesimama wako salama hallelujah nani yagejua kwamba watoto walio katika nasari because niliona hata za wazungu all over idia kila pahali nani yagejua upako na maombi iliyokoa watoto walio nasari ilifanywa hapa the whole world that night and that's what we are saying kama hutaelewa geography ya kiroho na hii ni haifanani haifanani hallelujah na katika mpangilio na ujaja wa mapepo kuna mengi sana wa Kristo hajui. Kwa sababu sisi tunatembeaga mambo juju 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 juju. Let me tell the truth. Na niambia watu the other day kwa hii kanisa. Na msikize vizuri. Muwe very careful na kitu kinaitwa entry point. Anytime utaona kitu kimekuwa introduced katika family. Kama una watoto, either na you are one of the daughters or one of the sons usiseme ni majaribu ya vijana no way attack it immediately attack it immediately hasa kama inakuwa introduced na firstborn don't say ni majaribu ni maja ah, 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 ah. setani hafanyi accident sisi tunaitaka accident Shetani kile ya kono ni program. I, 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 one day I had a lady in the office. Kambia bishop. Kuna mtu walikuja kwa nyumba. Akajaribu kunirepu. Ni kambia. Siku kujaribu kukurepu. Already kuna program ya repu. 
wewe usipofunga na kuomba there's something wrong kabia are you ready to ombe hakuelewa actually that lady the same same house kulikuja mtu akamrape na ikawa dia limoa doa abon ya kishetani that lady says na mhurumia ukiona umeenda kwa barabara baba kingori accident kimefanyika jia nyahuru usiseme tu ni ajali in the world ya shetani is a program simamisha hiyo gai na useme shetani mpango ulio na wa ajali wa kuleta maafa wa kuleta mambo ya, ya vifo ya kuleta mambo ya uremafu ninasimamisha mpango i cancel that program by the blood of jesus christ kwa sababu is a program ignore it ukikaka because normally shetani ako na program si ya wale ambao hawajaokoka wale wameokoka anatafuta tu entry point Ukiona naenda kwa ukiona for the first time unakopa mkate na maziwa na maziwa mara na nini kwa kiosk usisifikiri tu uko chini abia Mungu tabia kama hii sijawahi iona kwangu and I stop it Hallelujah let me tell you ukisema tu ni hali ya uchumi shida kubwa utaona hiyo kitu itaingia pole pole kwanza wewe iko affect tena ingie watoto wako na unajua kuna tabia ikiingia let me tell you something mna nyinyi wakubwa kuna watu wengi hapa ambao unafanana na kwenu mali ulitoka hello praise god kuna watu huobaoba sana akienda bahari aone kitu mzuri nipe nipe hata hiyo si ni mzuri nipe 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 kwa maana kwa kwenu kuna kitu ambao you should be very careful you, you know you don't beg so much kat kwa biblia you are supposed to bless so much but not begging habari yenu mnaanza kuniangaliaje sasa leo do you know kuna wadada hapa na kuna wadugu mkikaa na wao mpaka unashidwa ako na gift of receiving kuna kana hello praise god Halo kutoa kutoa kuna msubua kubariki lakini kupokea kupokea kuna moja nimekemea the other day kaambia sasa hata kama kuna upendo wa msalaba naona kama wewe uko na kasro nikaambia nitakusaidia ukija kwa office deliverance you have a big problem big one kila wakati one kila wakati huumia mkono mguu huwa anaajali kama si agali ameguka bathroom na kila wakati ni whatsapp ni saidie saidie you have a big problem a big one mama msa wewe mama kaka muzea ta muzea ta mehama ameona ah, it's too much now too much too much na mzee sasa uja haja okoka vile ameitishwa akaitishwa na waka na yoroho paka kakosa hewa kwa nyumba sasa ah wewe habari yenu leo mtakopelewa pendo hii mashetani na subua watu lazima ende kuzimu haleluya i want you to be a, a, a we ubariki watu sana ubariki ubariki amen ubariki nataka tu in fact nataka i'm trusting god to fungua makanisa na nini na ningetaka tukifua kanisa i'm going to, to plan that by god's grace we, we are we tugetaka kuweka memory for families i went to a church across here somewhere nikapata entrance ya kanisa a certain family imeweka mrango tu wa kanisa na tells pare ni 3 million nikaboa do you know this a family wamebuku hii ndio ni yao na nikaboa sasa nataka kuweka mrango mwingine na tells wameomba elders waweke ya 6 million 
Na kwa maana baba yako baba yao anazeeka na sema in case i die please watoto wangu hii hekaru hii entrance daima ni yetu na anawapa na ikikamia katatu bring new things for the lord ay that's powerful hallelujah amen i think that to get a copy siku moja you know the other door was praying god if you can bless me niko niko imesema hapa kwa ile dom unajua ile ile house wa mama haijajegwa if you can bless me lord ningetaka kujenga hii Hello praise God. Na kama itasaurika niandike ka break. And Bishop Gatimu to the glory of God donated ladies hostel ke copy. Pali. Dio ata nikizeka mama naiona. Niambia God makai madadhima. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. When others anasikia tu kwenda kulala ke copy na hakuna blanket ya menunua. Mi nataka kujenga urale. <laughs> na nikaenda nikasimama kuna ofisi hapo tunajenga tunaitwa National Conference of Safari kwa Entrance. Kama kuna kitu nimetamani bwana nibariki nijenge ni National Conference tutakuwa na headquarter bili hapo Safari Faith Church. Moja iko kikopi mahali ya bapo ofisi kuu yaweza hudumia watu wakiwa wengi. Tunaita National Conference Office na tutajenga national headquarter office sasa sasa watu wakitaka kuja wengi hawaji Nairobi wanakuja wapi kule hapa ni ofisi amen hallelujah na ukubuke ni ngali tuna deni ya Mungu Mungu aniongezee miaka kuna project ambao ninaita hallelujah nimeita jina altar number one. bishop gatimo altar number one. Bishop Gatimo stroke apostolic faith church altar number 1. Bishop Gatimo stroke apostolic faith church altar number 2. I want to trust God. I will build altars up to number 10. Before I go to heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah. Unapo altar sijui na sungura, sijui na kibicho na jui na nyoka, mimi huo altar na madhabahu na maono ya kanisa. But can you muone utukufu wapendwa? Hallelujah. Pigeni Yesu makofi anaweza. Areas of attack. Areas of attack. Lazima tusifunge. Kwa maana some of us. Some of us. Praise the name of the Lord. Kire, where you are great woman. Lakini kuna area ya mashabulishi ilifunguka na hujawahi any time utatua na imekuwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho kama hutachukua uweke chini haya kuna sehemu kadhaa one attack in life or a family let's talk about attack in life or family kitu cha kwanza shetani hutaka ku attack a son or a daughter kama uko na watoto a son or a daughter unakuta mtoto huwezi epuka Binti yako huwezi epuka. Amefanya kitu ambacho moyo wako unachukia ajabu. Na hebu niwaambie wazazi mlio hapa katika jina la Yesu. Attack zinazopitia kwa sons and daughters they are very dreadful. Unakuta they are so demonic kwamba inakutia uoga na uchungu. Kuna wazazi anasikia sasa labda ahame acha watoto the only thing tunafurahi wa mama hata kakiharibika namna gani wasema nitakufa na yesi ni kweli wazee hujika moyo haraka lakini mama utakuta hata mtoto kama ni ako na nini ni mwenda na nini anasema huyo tukukuwa nake but the truth is i want to assign you some work although tunafuga na kuombea wazazi wetu Tunafunga na kuombea mambo mengine. I would like you to engage in real warfare to attack a spirit in your son and daughter. That must go. Nos nos yogope omba no muite. Unajua shida yetu mtoto wako amezoea kukuona ukimdiscipline. Let me advise you wazazi. Mahali tumefika sasa. Tumefika sasa. Amen. 
Hata uwe mkali na mna gani. Hata oh my God. Ni vizuri kwa mkali, of course. Zama uwe na sura ya ukali kwa maana upebereshe tani. Lakini kuna ukali ambao nataka mpoke kutoka kwa buwana. Amen. Niwambia kuna bishop wetu monja mtoto wake alieda akamu islamu. Bishop, mtoto wa bishop. Na kaya kaya mimi, sasa mimi. Mami na dadi ni kwa huku. Mama li muagalia. Mama kamua kwa ataka. The following day, mwana ume nakuja tena. Anahasa kusoba koran kwa yuba. Mama li kwa yu, li rukia yu kofia. Na yu nyuena. Haka sema Jehovah. Hatu kuogea hivi. Na hatu kupanga hivi. Hii ni kazi. Mama kaomba. Haka shaburia. Haka mambia ni angalie. Na sema kame hova ishibio. Hii tabia razwa. Mama ni yoba kima chozi. Halipo wachia kijana jioni kijana likuja kama meokoka. Siyo pasta waija ni mwambea ni mozazi. We need to attack spiritually. You are mighty prophet. You are mighty prophet. Uziru husu spirits. Unajua sasa wezi yepuka mtoto wako. Wezi yepuka your son. Let me tell the truth. Ato kinunua rori. Ununue shaba. Baba. Hu talithiwa na mtoto wa huyu. Ni mtoto wako takurithi. Na kama kuna program imeachiliwa ya kuharibu progress ya family. Ni hali ya kuharibu sons and daughters. Utakapo fika mea kalitaya. Actually, I always tell people, hata Ezekia alipo abu atakufa, aliabu aje, rudi kwa nyubo jipange. Before you die, God give you chance kujipaga na nyuba. Utajipaga na randi sasa, kama ni mulevi ukona kwa nyuba. Naomba musie puke. Shika yu mwana ume muambia, nina kuambia you are my son and you are my daughter. Na nimesimama ukuambia kwa. Kwa kuna mambo razi maishi. Na saa hiyo hautumi nguvu ya mzazi. Ninjua sasa shida. Kuna nguvu ambaye. Siku hizi itafanya kazi nusu. Mimi I've dealt with teenagers. And I tell the truth in this church and elsewhere. The powers. Mumesikia sasa shure. What is happening now? Shure kuna utawara inambiri. Na watuambi. Kuna utawara wa shure vile unapata principal kwa ofisi ya nachukua mtoto wako. Lakini sasa kwa dormitory, dormitory dani, wanafuzi wameanza kutawara. Kuna, kuna tabia, lesbianism, ushetani umeingia huku. Na nimeanza kupata watoto hapa, nambia, abia mami, bishop, mimi sirudi tena yosh, ataku. There are our sons and daughters now in this church, claiming ataku are discorers. National schools, discorer, discorer. Siko sababu ya classroom. Siko sababu ya ofisi. Because principals are not able to control the dormitory. Actual students wameanza ata kudiktate principal. Sata nisambia principal. Kwa hivyo wadiyambia principal. Principal skiza. Si unatupatia ruhusa Friday tunakuamuru. We either go on Saturday au Saturday lengine. Na kijaribu kucheza yu, ya tachoma na yu shure yake. Mumezikia uliyo choma, kwa sababu domitos na choma, nani ya meshikuwa? Satanism in domitores. Mustana king, and I thought kamalesi bianism, wakona visu. They have them. You are the one now. Usiku, usiku. I can tell you schools, sita ya majina sasa, sababu is not. So, Na, and they are brutal. Hata kija kwa nyumba, anakuangalia hivi. Ako mami wewe. Na, akiongi unasikei na nguvu wako nae, kuna pahara pengine anatawiwa. Anakana baba mwingine. Kuna moja likuja fellowship hapa, akatuambia, niombeni. Kijano yetu wakanisa. Kwa sababu, aliingizwa, na mkubwa wake, ako isili. Atabia my master ako isili. Na ni mwanaume. Na natuambia sasa bisho mnisaidia because hawa watu suwezi kwa epuka. Either number one, abadrisha lai ni asimu na ahame bahati. Halo? 
Tukiwa kwa camp kuna kijana mmoja wa Reverend mmoja wetu alitokea jioni. Sa, kuna kadri tukiwa kwa camp tunasema mimi na wangu ifungwe sasa. Tutaongea mpaka shetani akuve hapa. <laughs> Nasema kwa lazima vijana waokoke vizuri. Moja katoka sema mimi nataka kuokoka. Na kabla sija okoka hata kusema kitu. Mimi ni mtoto wa level fulani. Ina church. Na mimi ama satanist na niliingia. Na akasema ninachukia mama yangu sana. Kwa maana mama yangu ni muombaji, amezuia ni uwe baba. Ukiamaji ni ni level gani wetu na uawa? Na ni sawu you can tulish, you know, it, it was, I can say my, my mother is so prayerful. Amezuia ni uwe baba yangu. Na ni mtoto wa mtu wana sema hivyo. Tulimuambea. Bada ni kamona kwa ofisa wa bishop. Sasa I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. Kwa maana, ni natafutwa. Ni natafutwa. Ni metafutwa wata kuniua. I had to spend a lot of time na nafasi to secure his life. Hallelujah. And even now, I'm throwing that boy. Because Haja kuwa original, but I know you win the battle. Hallelujah. So I say, yo, I know Jesus Christ. I know Jesus Christ. When about Ivy, how those attacked? One, Kanisa Akija, as a technical appearance, how Aja could attack. Number two, anaambiwa awe adui na aweke siri wazazi wasijue. Kwa wazi, akasema, don't tell them. And be an enemy to your parents. Muriona tulipo yada kuomba mwenyeri. Kuna kamata kanyambia bishop, usiniache huku, usiniache. Nata kuwa na wea Nairobi. Kwa nini? Aniambia vizuri vile nyeri aliingia hotema ushetani na akaambia bishop my main problem mama yangu alikufa now ninaitizwa baba yangu ndiye huyu bishop i don't know what to do because they want my dad na akaambia ulipokuwa kiniombea niliwaona wakaenda sasa hiyo hata ukiwa mkali namna gani kama hutakuwa na b na mwenye mamlaka na tafadhali usiwe tu mzazi wa kulipa school fees Usikuwe mzazi wa kulinunua mtu ugali ya kule ya shibe nataka uwe mzazi ambao sasa una mamlaka ya prophet na msiachie kanisa watoto si mama ambia mtoto i want to speak to you now as a man of god hallelujah ijulikane kwamba uko hivyo another area very important is persistent lack unakuta kwamba kuna ukavu very strange Ato kichukua loan. Kuna ukavu. Kuna kukaukiwa. Kuna ukukosa. Ambao kuna zidi. Unafikiri kwamba ukichukua loan utaondoa. Unafikiri kwamba ukiingia sako utaondoa yokitu. Unafikiri kwamba ukiajiri wa siju utaondoa yokitu. Lakini is a nerea ambao inahitaji sasa kuwa address na ito jina. Hallelujah. It's a way ni, ni uzito mkali. Uzito mkali. Unapata wewe unadiu na real estate. Unaweza manjuba na mashaba. Unapata mtu diya huyu. Shaba ya milion kumina inane. Kita akita tu kununua. Siku hile munaagana akulipe. Anaenda. Anytime you get closer to payment, closer to market, closer to financial success, huwa deals zinanguka. Ni kitu ambacho, na, na hii ni kitu, na, bayi wa sama kwa ba, le weka chini kila mzigo mzito. What do you need to do? Let me say something. Iyo area, iangalie vizuri, na uite jina, na useme kama Yehova ishivyo, Hii ni kitu kinaniatea uzito. Lazima nikiweke chini. Amen. Do you know the moment utalenga yu area na upigane nae? Utaeda bali sana. Utaeda bali sana. Another area we need to address is now there is a time unakuta katika maisha mtu. Shetani au dunia huinua mtu au roho. Either a person a spirit about ni agent wa shetani. 
is true. You see friends, kitu kimoja cha kushida maji antwagiza ni kuwa katika damu ya Yesu Saidi na kuishi maisha ambayo hauna mchezo. You know, I was so much nilifikiria sana wakati my friend Tim Singa niambia alipo retire alipo fanya nini retire amekuwa overseer wa kanisa that years retire siku ile ali retire mwanamke alikuja kwa ofisi yake akamwambia sasa mtumishi wa Mungu i am a witch na miaka yako 30 assignment about repair ni kukuua wewe na nimejaribu kukuua for that years na sikukupata na sasa hivi umeenda retire na umetoka kuwa kazi ya kuwa bishop nime nasikia nimewezwa kabisa nataka niokoke na nifichwe ndani ya Mungu na akamwambia vile walimpaga kumuua na ajali kwa gamisa familia yake all through there are times either is a spirit or a person allo praise god na huwa wanaweza badilika Roho hii inakuja this time inajifadrika au kuna mtu kuna mtu this this year di ametumika sana kuinukia next year wabadilisha mwingine kama si hivyo kuna roho furani ambao ni agent wa shetani let me to the truth you need to deal with it kakuna wakati shetani atachoka aseme nimechoka acha niende there is no way program hii ya my agent wa giza kufuata mtu kazini itaisha sababu tu no, uh, uh, ati umekaa miaka mingi you need to address it by god's grace another area ni tabia in you or a, or a habit in you or a habit in a person closer to you tabia fulani ulio naye abo haiwezi ruhusu uende bali au tabia iliyo na mtu aliye karibu na wewe ambao huwezi epuka either ni mke wako ni mume wako ni mtoto wako ni your sister unakuta wewe una tabia ambao haiwezi ruhusu uende bali na, na tutakuwa na nafasi ya kuagua hiyo maybe another day have you ever discovered hello praise god sometimes the way the way unaamka the way you had money na vile kabisa unaongea kuna vile mtu anakata bia fulani unaona hii tabia haiwezi ruhusu wende bali allo praise god we umewahi tamani kuinua mtu aende bali ukakuta ako na tabia ambayo hairuhusu aende nini bali na weza kuwa naye au ina mtu huwezi epuka mume mumefugwa nila naye Unakuta kwamba we need to deal with that another area is what we call a weakness building up kuna wakati hauna shida fulani lakini kuna udhaifu unajijenga polepole kuna udhaifu kuna area ya unyonge imeanza kujiunda pole pole a weakness building up gradually gradually hallelujah Now, we mtu ujijua apendwa. Hallelujah, nisalimieni praise the Lord. Unakuta ai ai. Hii. Wakati wa corona hii kuna tabia, kuna udhaifu nimeanza na unajiuda polepo. Na kama wewe katika roho wa Bwana you are sensitive. You deal with it haraka kitabu jiunde. Nimeanza with a weakness. Maombi kanisa huduma ehe kwa nyumba siku hizi ya muombi the way una report kazini the way you manage issues unakuta kuna weakness imeanza and the more inaendelea hiyo weakness hiyo udhaifu hiyo area udhaifu hiyo tabia udhaifu inazidi kujiuda kujiuda sometimes ni weakness the way you speak kuna maneno huko unaongea zamani siku hizi unaongea ovyo ovyo kuna tabia na jiuda na yaweza kuwa there are so many areas nataka ujiangalie vizuri kwa sababu ukijirudia unakuta kwamba kuna mambo siku anaongea ai 
ninaanza kuongea kuna mwenendo sikuwa naye ay ay nimeanza kuona hiyo mwenendo tabia about in a juda it needs to be now we sensitive stop it stop it kwa yule mlio hapa unakuta unakuta kwamba haukuwa na tamaa ya phonography umeanza ulikuwa umeanza ina jiunda pole pole haukuwa na tamaa ya wanawake siku hizi una tamaa haukuwa na tamaa ya wanaume wewe mwanamke uko hapa imeanza umeanza umeanza kazini kazini ma message nini there is a weakness imeanza kuumpika in you na hiyo sasa it has to be worked on and it was stopped praise the name of the lord now sasa hizo ni areas of attack about the need to be part 2 about tunahitaji kuweka mzigo chini is what we call demonic presence demonic presence these days watu hawajui hiyo ndio number two. a demonic presence number one, a demon that is stationed somewhere kuna wakati family au mtu kuna pepo ambao ilijipatia kikao pahali na hiyo area katika maisha yako ukifika haupiti ukifika unaisha ukifika hapo haufauru na hiyo station unagudua ikiendelea even your sons and daughters wakifika hapo hawapiti now it is a station it is a station a station ni kama ki, haya na, na wapendo tusigno hii vitu Have you ever seen issues in a family? Msichana alifika pahali baada ya kuolewa akaanguka. Anayemfuata baada ya kuolewa kufika tu hapo akaanguka. Mwingine akaanguka. Mwingine akaanguka. Ni kama kituo ambao watoto wako hugojewa. Kuna gani masomo? Unapata wakiingia tu university first year hawapiti hapo. Alikuwa ikaton akafukuzwa. Je, kuquat, je kuquat dia huyu drugs. Dia huyu alikuwa KU mimba. They never finish a degree. Kituo fulani, a station. Na let me tell you the truth. Na usiogope. The moment utasema ninakataa hii roho na kituo hicho na kiamaliza na kiondoke, utaona wanaenda bali weka chini mzigo mzito unaozuia bio yako bwana asifiwe kwa sababu you know kama hapa mambo ikitendeka ikitendeka kuna wakati nakuta kuna ulema fulani ulemafu ulemafu fulani ulemafu ulemafu fulani unapata kuna pahara mkifika as a family as a family au wewe mwenyewe ni kama mnagojewa kuna mapigo ya magonjwa ambao unakuta kila mtu wa miaka 40 50 hana ugonjwa ambao hauna tiba na kama una tiba unaambiwa ni ugonjwa tu utakuwa manage utakufa na hiyo unakuta ni cancer arthritis huyo mwingine ni allergy ya kifua hakuna na let me tell you waweza sema inaonekana hali ya hewa sijui damu gani let me tell the truth Kukisimama mtu in that family one of the daughters and son asimame kama Joshua asimame kama Caleb aseme in the name of Jesus nimekataa hii inaisha nilikuwa mkuruo in one day a family walikuwa ilianza tu pole pole mama moja akazaa mtoto mvurana after one month akafa akaogopa sana haya Mwingine akawa na mimba mtoto mvurana after one month akafa. Do you know hiyo kitu difanyika mpaka unakuta kuna kaburi kama kumi. Kukiwa na mazishi dugu moja hiyo hiyo fami akasema hivi. Akasema mabishop mlio kwa mazishi na mapastors na wazee wa kanisa msiondoke. Msiondoke msiondoke na na yeye alipewa peana vote of thanks na naambiwa tukuna chakula ya mazishi pale juu 
Hata watu wakae kwa hema wageni wale kwa sababu watu wakae kwa hema sema msiondoke nani haoni yeye ni kaburi yeye ni kaburi no. akasema nataka tukatae hii hali ya watoto boys kukufa imejeroa kizaliwa watu wakasema wewe ume, umeibisha at you are washing our dirty linen in the public akasema mnasema na waibisha bere ya watu nani haoni si wamekuja mazishi na walikuja hapa the other day watu wakaoba wakaoba my bishop wakaoba wakaoba wakasema in the name of Jesus Christ tumesema iishe kutoka siku hiyo hakuna mvurana ama ikufa wanaishi kama hakugekuwa na mtu akusema hivyo mseme tu ni ajali ni ajali ni ajali kugeendelea inaitwa a station ambao a demonic power inagojea nyinyi na inatoka mtu aseme iishe haleluya Bwana asifiwe. Kwa maana ainiambia mama angepata mimba, aende scan. Akwenda mvurana already, already walikuwa hata uoga umewapanga kiakili. Haya, amen, praise God. Ingine sasa ni kile kimetanjwa katika kitabu cha uh, kitabu cha Efeso, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 verse 10 wa Efeso 6 hebu tusome aya 11 wa Efeso 6 aya 11 vaeni siraha zote za Mungu mpate kuweza kuzipinga hila za shetani Semeni hila za shetani. Na kuna tofauti ya nguvu za shetani na hila. Hila ni strategy au ujaja au trick fulani. Kuna wakati mtu anapigana na mpango fulani au ujaja fulani wa shetani. There are times the devil will not use force, but he will use what we call tricks and strategies. Na one of the issue that we need to be very careful about ni wakati apapo demon kuna ngome ya shetani ina ujaja fulani ikitumia mtu au hali inaitwa the wells of the devil hila 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 ni mpango na ujaja na mkakati fulani hila fulani na wapendwa kama Yehova ishivyo katika jina la Yesu We need to understand ni hila gani because there are time shetani hautaona hutaona akishabulia na demon kufanya mtu apagawe No 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 it's just a strategy Kampango tu a strategy na kuna wakati tunahitajika kuangamiza strategy za ule mwovu haleluya Bwana asifiwe sana na that's very important and uh, ni vizuri pia by God's grace na hiyo niliwaambia kwamba it needs to be handled kuna kitu kinaitwa uh, katika Efeso hiyo sita twende aya ya 14 Efeso sita sita zaidi ya yote mkitoa gao ya imani ambao kwa hiyo mtaweza kuizima mishale yenye moto ya yure muovu kuna kitu kinaitwa fiery darts mishale yenye moto na ukienda leo kwa bulletin yetu message number one sema extinguishing the fiery darts of satan utaona your message is very powerful fiery darts of satan now kuna kuna I know Yesu Kristo. Amen. Kuna weakness ambao huumbika ndani ya mtu ambayo inahitaji sasa uweke ngao kwa kif, uweke ngao kwa moyo. Unaona mwana mtu abaye amekosa umeangusha miradi mingi sana hata family kwa sababu ya kuvujika moyo. Kama si kuvujika moyo kuchafuka. Kama si kuchafuka kugadhabika moyo kwamba 
Wewe hukasirika haraka. Huchafuka moyo haraka. Chore huo ulikuwa kikugonga unatoa moto. Ulikuwa natumika sana na majeshi ya kirumi. Haya, na inikisu kiingia ndani, unatoa moto ndani. Ni kama lisasi. Kuna wakati lisasi kiingia ndani, inalipukia ndani. Kuna mtu wakipua lisasi. Hutaona inja, unambua, ilipo ingia, iliangamiza kila kitu ndani. Ikalipukia ndani. Kuna vitu shetani hutaka, zilipukia ndani ya mtu. Na kama moyo wako hauja kingwa, na kuambia hiyo kitu ni shida kubwa. Unakuta mume wako, muke wako, mtu furani kazini. Ame kuambia tu jina, ta, limekoreka kwa moyo. Unasikia kuvuta hiyo kazi. Hello, praise God. Unajua kuna, kuna mtu moja, na hiyo, na, 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 na kasama nita muombea sana. Kazini, na ni kazi pama neti ya sarikali. Ka, na ni family ina, ina tegemea. Kuna mtu watu wali muinukia na maneno. Kumuinukia tu hivi hivi. Ye huvujika mwe haraka. Akasema atajukua early retirement. Na katoka. Mahali ya lienda akaanza company. Hapo nao fellow workers waka muinukia. Na hiyo akafuka kena jubani. Kaka jubani. Moyo abao hupatwa haraka. Amen. Nata kuwabia kitu kimoja wapendwa. Kuna watu na kuna maroho ambao hushambulia moyo wa mtu au akiri na mishale ya moto. Nona kuta kwa kama huta kinga moyo wako, kama huta lida uhai wako, hizo pepo na hizo hari na hao watu hawata kosa kutumiwa kurusha mshare kwa moyo. Unakuta tu asubuhi na nisandi. Muto mekuambia kitu. Ta! Unasikia kabisa ugetaka kuka bedroom ulia the whole day. Kazini! Unamuka, unamuka mandi. Unashidwa. Minaeda kazi sasa kukutana na mzee fulani ya mpao. Ah. Emu ni wambia hivi. Hauta ishi kwa kuepuka watu. Hauta ishi kwa kuvunja family. Au kuhidro business. Utaishi kwa, ku, kwa kuchukua gao ya imani Ambao kwa hiyo utazima mishale yenye moto ya ule muovu Hallelujah Hallelujah Iyo ni kitu mutu katika maombi unajega mapema Kitaba ukutana na watu Kitaba wede anywhere Rise up early in the morning Pray and pray And pray Mpaka roho mtakatifu akusaindie kusimamisha hiyo gao ya kulinda moyo. That one is very important. Kwa maana, ai, mishale ingine wapendwa. Unasikia, na watu wengine urusha tu wakiwa tu na amani. Anafikiri, kuna baja niyabia hivi. Eh, nataka kuona askofu, hee nini? Mimi nifikiria tu, ni kuharibia jina. Eh, kwa jia gani? Ni kauda ule uongo Nigeweza kuda Mubaili weza kanavyo Na nimeeneza kila pahari Wapi ata kwa makanisa yetu Uongo ye Bisho kwa kia ukweli ni uongo Nisikia tu Nataka kukuharibu Kwa nini? Ni kitu iniingia Sasa yu nini sasa Hey, unatakaji Unajua kuna kitu menizukuma kuomba Ni kaoba Bwana kaniambia nini ya tulisa me Ni kamambia kikitu ya kwanza Usiwahi niambia Ni nini uliambia watu I don't want to hear it Lakini mekusa me Shida ni hii Wale alidanganya That's why sometimes I always tell people Kuna mamaiki sana ya uogo ya bishop Na shida ni kwaba Niliomba mungu mga niambia sana Nisi, nisiwe na shida Nisiwe na shida Amen Just lie Na sima na moja kuna watu watatu wa menipata Na iyo, iyo. Moja niyambia bisho niliamua kuangamiza nyumba yako Lakini kashidwa Nisamehe Uliada wapi? Sijumari fulani Naka niyambia ni miyama Nilijaribu kukuangamiza maratatu Nini baya? 
nikakudua bishop mungu anakupenda sana nakwambia we ni ngao imenitisha umeomba umeomba kuna vitu vili takusaidia gawa ya imani kilicha tatu kuwa rafiki ya Mungu kile kilirida Musa miaka yote ni kwamba yari kwa rafiki ya nani ya Mungu ugemuinukia Musa naambia Musa si wewe wameinukia ondoka Mungu anawapiga hata Aaron na, na ni ndugu yake na Miriam Mungu aliambia Musa walete gawa ya imani wapendwa na hiyo si kitu asio mtu uoba mpaka inaubika gawa ya imani si kitu utachukua pahali uvae unaomba unaomba roa bwana anayunda around your heart kwamba hata kama kuna mtu alikuwa unajua kuna kijana mmoja aniambia unje bishop mimi niambia Mungu anionyeshe maono yako sababu natafuta vile nitaiga mafuta ulio magua uliomba ulionaje akaambia ni umezungukwa na maadui wanaume maadui wengi sana te maadui si marafiki no. waliamua bishop hata karibu nikuhurumie what happened walipokuwa wanakuja kukatoka wingu kutoka juu wingu likakubeba hawakukuona tena ehe nini tadeka sauti katoka juu ikasema hawatampata huyu hawatampata nikamwambia nashukuru Mungu amenificha si maadui huna lakini you rather make urafiki wa ajabu na Mungu in case watu tabadilika hata wewe wingu likusunguke amen utaka poeda kuomba usiombe tu mahitaji wapendwa oba mpaka usikie roho wa Bwana ameunda ndani ya moyo wako kitu ambacho kinaweza zima mishale haleluya kwa maana mishale iko na mshale huu hulenga moyo hedikota ya uhai ukivujika moyo that's why mnaona shetani aliabwa wakati wa job aliabwaje don't touch the heart bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe now kitu kingine ambao tunahitaji kuagamiza katika uh, mambo ya shetani is satanic project ukute kuna kitu cha kishetani a project anaanzisha project furani unakuta kwamba umegudua kwamba ukiangalia last year akaua your cousin kitabu mwaka u, because satan uses uses the thing fear and confusion anatumia sana fear confusion na deception shetani hutumia uongo hutumia uoga amen na pia hutumia uh, that is fear deception or whatever na akitumia hizo vitu haitumi kwa jia ambao utacoordinate kwa maana what he does ataenda kwa your brother au mtoto wake and then kukakaa kidogo aende kwa your cousin kukakaa kidogo aende ni nyumba moja tu lakini amezi jua ni yeye lakini mwishoe atamaliza wote Now unagudua kuna project imeanzishwa na lazima tuyagamize kwa hiyo damu ya Yesu Kristo haleluya unapata sometimes your cousin alikuwa manager wa Absa Bank ametoka ame, ame mwingine alikuwa exporter ameisha mwingine ndiye alikuwa ana supply vitu kwa nyumba yenu ameanza kuwa mrevi na usipogudua kuna wakati kuna project ya, ya break marriages unakuta si ndogeu kweli ndugu yako alioa akatupa dada yako akaolewa akatupwa aniko akaoa akatupa you know ukigudua project nimegudua kuna project ya ku attack marriages kuna project ya ku attack sons and daughters kuna project ya watu kuvutwa kazi bwana asifiwe sana kuna project ya shetani najua imeanza ya shetani ya watoto ku withdraw kutoka shule unakuta mmoja alikataa kukaka mwingine mwingine alikataa na wanatoka wanaolewa wanaolewa no listen carefully na msiogope ukigudua hiyo project stop it 
nakwambia itasimama katika jina la Yesu Kristo itasimama hallelujah are you understanding friends itasimama na leo katika isipokuwa sasa kama ingekuwa sehemu na tugeendelea sana tungeenda ukiandika kapo ukinote one by one na baada ya ibada we address it one by one kwa maana tunaishi katika nyakati ya bazo hutazuiliwa uabudu wewe abudu lakini value yako imeisha amen kuna project ya kuzuia doa takatifu unakuta your sister dio huyu karibu tu fanya harusi akaanguka huyu ni brother yako akaanguka and then imeanza kuingia kwa watoto wako stop it stop it hallelujah ni salimia ni praise the name of the lord are you understanding friends bwana awalinde na awabariki amen tutaenda another day sasa sehemu ya tatu ambao ni very important ambao ni sehemu moja ya kuangusha mzigo mzito tunasemaga is human weakness a human sasa hapa sio ni kuwa na udhaifu wake kama mtu a human weakness we mwenyewe kama mtu kimaumbire kiakili the way you live uko na some human weaknesses ambazo hata kama Mungu ataka kukimbia mbio haizo kutumia hata kipenda ambapo hata kama Mungu ana pesa kiasi gani ataka kupeana haizo kupa because now the problem is not kupewa the problem is not baraka atakuna the problem is that uko na udhaifu wa kama mtu i can read one or two amen praise god kuna kuna moja inakuwa a natural weakness ya kimaumbire kimaumbile kuna udhaifu uliyataka kimaumbile kimaumbile that one needs to be addressed na tuombe sana simapo kama huwa iko si kweli haleluya na huwa haifanani haifana haifanani eh nisikia watu wa, wa muranga akisema ngani ene atigiti ithero kalingi Waida, wewe wewe sikia hiyo. Kule bogo hili. Baba Jibiku, alikuwa kuna sababu hiyo. Utike ndio ukalege. Unakuta wanasema ai. Ai. Na mimi nashukuru Mungu kwa wokovu. Wokovu mara nyingi mtu akiokoka vizuri, wapendwa mimi nimeona kwa hii huduma. Nimeona mtu ambaye naturally alikuwa mjiga na alikuwa naturally akawekes fulani nuru tu ya wokovu kamuinua amen muk haya mmeona kuna kijana mmoja and my wife amezoea kumuranga sijui kule kama wa yeye ni mdhaifu tu ni disabled mwangi wa ilia amemwanjiri kijana hata hawezi ongea but the cowboy is getting getting a full salary hata kama kuna natural weakness udhaifu wa kimaumbile nafikiri hii wokovu kuna mahali nuru itatokea tu pahali i used to to nilikuwa classmate for four years i think four and a half three and a half years na baba ya eme kosge kosge mwenyewe kosge alikuwa miguu ish so what i used to do to nakuta karum yake moja na yeye ni kumpeleka na kavio cha hivi tuna enda mission na mshikilia sana in fact wakati emi kosi alianza kuimba nikifikiri nimwambie emi can i introduce myself to our bishop don't introduce yourself to me you are the man who took care of my dad and that's why emi kosi alikuja KU conference kupata emi kosi kutoka Nigeria aje sio chini 1 million kuja conference kama hiyo lakini hako sio hako atako hako atako lipwa sa bishop uli, you took care of my dad hiyo kitu ifanye kazikie kulia kabisa kia bishop i know you nilikuwa katoto kado hallelujah baba yake gajijaza mnamjua hata kuna wakati alisimama kuwa kuwa senator wa baringo 
Eh, kujijaza bwana. Hata tema atafutiwe special car na amepata ambao kila kitu kwa mikono gear nili iko hapa. Kujaza. Kuna nuru katika ule mafu ule. Na tukienda nasema tu nitafutiwe meza kama angekuja hapa. Hii hapa tu. Aka hapa juu. Anaambia watu ni miguu tu sina. Lakini amebo anahumbiri jameni. Wonderful. Ni vizuri kujua kuna wakati kuna natural weakness lakini Mungu anaweza kuajiria nuru kwa hiyo weakness. Katika wokovu kuna njia wapendwa. Ingine ni hello praise God, lack of self control. Lack of Unapata we mwenyewe uko na weakness, hujizuii tamaa. Hujizuii. Kama ni kuongea unaweza ongea ovyo ovyo kila wakati ni makesi. Aliongea kunihusu. Aliongea Haishi kwa nyumba. Wewe tu ongea ukweli. Hata mkikana mkawaka mamu wako mnakosania sana mambo ya kuongea. Unapi... huwa unapitisha mipaka. Paka tunakuogopa, unaweza kasirika haraka. Mtu akiongea na wewe lazima awe very careful. Asiongee sana kwa maana unajulikana kuna governor huna. Kuna wengine kikana msichana kama huyu na ni muka wa manye huyu. Akaya tu hapa. E, kukaa hapa tu. Haezi kada ikatano. Mwiri unamusubua ajabu. Si wanasubua ka njini. Unakuta. Ego maigi. Unakuta. Na nidugwa. Na nidugwa kanisa. Niambia wa dada ukiona dugu wa kanisa. Anakubeba na gari yake. Anakubia ukariye kiti ya mbele. Unajua ata wa ata wa zungu. Na musikize nyinyi watu wa Afrika na mimi Afrika ata wa zungu na haja wakoka. Huwezi beba muke wa mutu au mume wa mutu kwa kiti ya mbele. Britain, na ukibeba muke wa mutu kiti ya nyuma, hutaweka mutu mwingine hama. Don't you realize, nina beba muke wa mutu. Habari enu. <laughs> Una kuta dada ako na kaguo kapefika hapa hi dada fara vere dugu ni vere hi hi kuna wengi na tabia ya self control na kuwa gabari una kuta ni mama kama huyu mama kama wewe una ita George Mojo uko happy si upiti hapa kwa gu ni kopeke yangu tu kunywe au kujia uni bebe una wana kuita sisi mo kuhivo. Ana, unaita yeye si ujo ni pereke pahali tuende na wewe wapi tuende muranga na wewe alafu tuende sisi wawili ni sisi wawili tuende mpaka usiku saa sita unajua kuna wadogo hana akili unakuta kuna mama anakuita mbebe mwende nakuru wewe na yeye mrudi usiku saa nane Na anakusiambia mke wako. Na wadugu hao nakuta akienda habi mke wake. Mama hivyo uko wapi? Niko tu area. Uko tu area. Ni aya kuna watu naturally alipookoka hakungangana akobolewe na tabia ya tamaa ya usherati. Self control ya opposite sex. Self control ya pesa. Self control ya nini? Ya pesa. Unajua na hii na hiyo inafanya hata wewe wewe Mungu Mungu akuheshimu. Sisi upokea pesa nyingi za watu. Unataka kuambia bishop umeniombea nimepona hii ni sacrifice. Hii ni mbegu. Tunaambia weka kwa bahasha. Ukija kwa ofisi yako utakosa bahasha kama karibu 100. Naambia hii nitapeana kanisani sandi. Sasa natemu na wakopaka ni kiacha dugu fulani wambia sasa chukulikia hawa geni. Iyo tu bahasa utapeleka wapi? Shakuli washo mwagoda. Katika kitabu yetu ya, ya sadaka, sacrifice, bego, dance, giving, hizo vitu vyote haziedi kwa mchugaji. Zinaenda katika gara la buwana. Amen. Buwana inuliwe. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. We are very careful about you. 
na hata ukiwa leader wa kanisa ukiwa security ukiwa youth leader ukiwa nini kwa sababu mtu atakuja aseme sasa wewe mnafanya kazi na bishop hii girish 20 eh, umfikishie nilikuwa nimeahidi ya kitu kama huna self control kwa sababu hata mimi nimtumishi na hata mimi ukileta si yangu ni ya kanisa unakuta mtu amekaye gai jehova Unja kuna mzee I'm now finishing kuna mzee kikopi an elder in another church senior elder senior elder a big church in Kenya alikuja kikopi tukitoa pesa mimi nikasema niko na pesa yangu 1 million ndio hii na kuna ingine ya kutumwa nikatoa majina 1500 akauliza watu kwani mabishop wenu hufikisha pesa Wow, mabishop na mapasta hawapei pesa, hawafikishi. Akarudi tena next time nilikuwa na 1700, kasema hii ni 1700 yangu na hii ni ya kupewa. Akasema a a. Alienda kwa revelatere, akamwambia hapa ndio kwa bishop Gatimo yeye kutoka leo mimi ni memba na siondoki. Amen. Self con throw self control habari dada huko tuna Yesu sometimes unakuta umeacha na aniko na pasta kwa juu pale sio unaogopa kwa maana unajua hata kama aniko ana kwa ruga na baba hiyo ruga sasa ingia pale fulani bwana tubariki another area ambao ni human weakness ambao you need to work on ni laziness sema ni laziness mhm Laziness ni mtu kwa mvivu naturally. Hiyo ni kitu na ni weakness yako na hiyo itazuia Mungu hata kubariki. Hata kama ako na karama, atakupea nini? A human weakness that itahibidi iwekwe chini ukimbie mbio. Ingine ni pride, kiburi. Unakuta naturally wewe hutaka, wewe ni mtu wa kiburi. Sasa utapewa pesa si utaangamiza watu nazo utapewa karama ya uponyaji sitakuharibu so improve work on it work on it another thing nikitunata the loose areas sehemu za mtu ambazo hazijakazwa kaba they are loose ulimi kimpango huwezi paga mpango umalize wewe ni mlegefu kuna mahali ufika unalegea haraka ulegefu hiyo ni haya kitu kingine ambao ambao pia ni human weakness inaitwa lack of initiative vile mtu ugudua kitu ataanzisha kabiashara eh ugudue muradi fulani ugudue jia fulani kawaida wewe Hauna uwezo wa kugudua kitu chako. Lack of initiative. You are blocked. Hauna ile hali ya sensitivity ya kugudua. Oh, I can now initiate my company. Initiate my project. Initiate a family thing. Hiyo lack of initiative. Mhm. Na mambo kama hayo. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Na kuna wakati mtu huwa una human weakness ya tabia ambao Mungu amegojea for a long time iondoke. A habit that God is waiting for a long time. And yet hiyo nakuwa acquired, an acquired habit. Acquired habit ulipojiuga na mama fulani kuna tabia tena uli, uli, ulipata kwa hawa ukae desert fulani ukaacquire habit kwa kwaya weakness ya mtu ambaye akienda akienda umeza nini tabia yao mpya akienda hapo tabia mpya hata vijana nakuta kwamba amejiuga na mabest wengine hapa tabia yao mtu wa aina hiyo abonde kigeugeu kuingia mitindo mipya unaiga any hope ukikuta watu wanakula miraa ni kama unafikiri unafikiri una, una spinach hapo haipa peja pikwa kienda yani wewe uiga tutabia mpya kila wakati tu wewe una una you are so leg 
ajira kwa kuaminiwa kitu na Mungu fikishe problem. Kuaminiwa Kwa maana ukienda leo Ruvira Avenue ukuta watu wanaenda ja, wanaenda uchi hata utatoa nguo. Wewe mwepesi hasa ukipata watu wako na akili kuliko wewe au pesa kuliko wewe unawaika kabisa. Upate mtu wako na kagari hivi. Na amevaa katrosa kama kanga ngii sema unavaa hiyo. <laughs> na ukiwa na muke wa aina hiyo au mume wa aina hiyo na kuambia ni vingumu sana hiyo family ifike. Hiyo family haijafaita fika. Lazima kuwe na tabia ambayo imeubika ya kudumu. Okay. Kukuta kikundi kikundi mane iba kikundi meanziza. Kikundi kinaitwa siji ati dawa 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 uko ndani kaka kidogo unaibua pesa kingine pale kamukuji uko ndani nini ndani 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 kila wakati wewe ndani kama ile agithai ndani 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 na wewe na nakuta kwamba you don't care wewe huiga tabia mpya kila wakati sisemi kuna tabia zote mbaya lakini wewe ni mwepesi wa kufanyika anything in fact bwana sasana Ukipata mwanaume na kuchekesha na kuambia hii naba ni yangu tutorane kesho kunywa kahawa pale ng'anga Atlanta ng'anga uko ndani. Mpaka unashiba, huu ni mke wa mtu kweli. Ukipata watu wako sijui kule Keno, Moranga, ati kuna kipindi akijui nini nini uko ndani. So utajikuta uko na tu vitu twingi sana maishani umeanzisha tu hasara. Na we mwenyewe, we mwenyewe si msafi. Si kitu likuwa nacho berendi, lakini kwa sababu ni kekeugeu, umeiga tabia nyingi sana ambazo umepata jiani. Wekeni chini, mizigo hiyo yote. Kuna mbio iko bere yako. Tuzome tukuru buwana, hala bashete ne makaya, rakita masika, rike mama shato na mikaya, raka shata reba bosaya. Baba katika jina la yesu. Wakati umefika sasa kida mzazi, kida kijana, aweke mzigo mzito chini. Kwa maana maisha ni bio. Maisha ni bio kiashara. Maisha ni bio kihuduma. Maisha ni bio kifamele. Maisha ni bio kimasomo. Maisha is a rush. Na maisha siyo malefu sana. And Lord by your grace. Ni naomba leo katika ibada. Mambo hayo ya wekwe chini sasa. Mambo hayo ya wekwe chini. Ii mizigo. Mizigo inaozui ya bio ya maisha Inaozui ya bio ya huduma Inaozui ya bio ya doa Inaozui ya bio ya family Inaozui ya watoto kufauru katika resi ya masomo Tuasema leo kwa ibada hii Kwa maana seria ya bada ya mekuja Na roho wa bana sema iwe kwe chini Tumesema baba tunaweka chini Tabia hii baba hapembi Tunaweka chini Mamba ya kuongea ovyo ovyo Tunaweka chini Tamaya kishetani tunaweka chini Uwoga na uongo na confusion tunaweka chini Ili tukimbie bio tuliowekewa mbere yetu Tukimtazama kristo ambaye the author and perfecter of our faith Tajua baana vini is very soon You are going to perfect us Huku tuita tuwe tuwa chini Uli tuita tuwe perfected Father take over now Take over now I would like to pray for you. Kwa mana kuna mbio takibia wewe. Na kwa bia kuna mbio familia yako takibia. Kuna mbio kiyakiri utakimbia wewe. Maba ya kwa da raudi raud. Bwana nakata. Kuna mbio takimbia wewe. Kuna mtoto wako tutamuambia wewe. Itabia acha. Jehovah hamesema uache. Kuna maongeo na ongea hina mipaka. Bwana imekwe kikwaza mungu kila wakati. Yes. Kuna lizi. Kuna kituo cha mapepo ugojea ya mayari razma kiondoke. Kwa ba hakuna mtoto anafanya ya rusi, hakuna mtoto anaenda bali, wakifika pahali tu wanaharibika. Yu kituo tutayondoka, dame Yesu Christo, waenda bali, waenda bali. Ino mkono juu, I want to declare deliverance. Sheta pakata. Kete re masia, lapo na rima seke re makuta. Reke pa kose tene makata. Intene maseko roro bosanda. Shari makuta ria to rapi kaya. Romi na kasa to raba seke re reba. Baba katika kina ra yesu. Kira mutu ali amini hapa. Jabo lolote ameamini. 
mzigo huu ambao unamsika na unamzuia sasa kwa mamlaka ya damu ya Yesu uanguke chini pepo hiyo ilijaga kikao kwake na yamuru yotoke na ilaaniwe kila uthaifu na unyonge unautawara mwini na akiri uishe sasa tabia baza wazifai ziteketeswa na moto wa mungu damu ya yesu ingili ya maisha daka moja tu mwabia bana niondole hii na hii baba mtu kila mtu pa, just make make a prayer of deliverance make a prayer of church make a prayer of real church make a prayer of real church abia bwana mimi sitaki kukwama tena sitaki miaka yangu ipotee sitaki nafasi yangu ipotee sitaki kukosa kibali na wewe i repent the sin ma shake nema nina meka todo posika baba oba kabisa oba kabisa mpendwa naachilia damu ya yesu kaingilia kila mtu hapa Ikaleta ulinzi, ikaleta utakaso, ikaleta amani. Haina bose na makatara bose kerere baka. Nakatarabo. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Sababisha mabadiliko, sababisha utakaso. Paka ni masika, teke teke masiki rima ka. Roma nakatanda. Damia Kristo ingi. Damia ingi. Ikaleta utakaso na uisho. Asante bana. Baba unaweza. Uko hapa yani mgojwa. Ina mtu apone. Kama Yehova ishiwe. Hiyo maumivu kuna mungu hapa. There are several people who na attack ya acid ya tubu. Commanded to seize. Kwa uwezo wa damu ya Kristo. Ya uponyanji. Huo mgongo wako ambao umeuma zaidi ya meka ine. I declare healing your backbone. Katika jina la Yesu mwana wa mungu. Alie hai, alie hai Rabo sekenema Kuna mutu moja on your thigh Thigh Hapa nyuma Una growth inauma sana Right now as I speak Bwana na ichoma Kwa uweza wa dami ya Yesu Kristo Bwana aweza, Bwana aweza Bwana aweza, Bwana aweza There's somebody ambao you are interceding for your son Ame kufuja moyo kwa ya mekua kikwazo right now ukitua kwa ibada mutu wa kwaza atakaya kupata is your son I say kuna your son unaria kwa ajiri yake na kuna jabo atakuampia kuna jabo atakuampia na kuna machozi atamuaga bere yako mpoke muambe kwa maana the lord is setting back your son in the name of jesus christ Pokeeni uponyanji. Kila mtu wabani. Ina mkono wako ju. Kila vita unaopitia. Either ni mishari unarushiwa. Na maneno ya watu au mapepo. Na yangamiza kwa dami ya Yesu. Mahali unafanyia kazi na agiza malaika wa mungu waje. Waagize customers. Waagize ushindi. Waagize biashara ya kufauru. Maripo isi wa kawaida. Bwana kuinue kifedha. Katika china la Yesu. Naomba bwana aze ukulasa. Ukukoboku toa kwa madeni. Uwe wa baraka. Sio wa kukopa. Dami ya Yesu kuwezeshe. Katika Kristo tabana kuwamini.